I'm almost 100% sure the contents of this video are a world first in RuneScape. A RuneScape PvP bot roaming the wilderness hunting real players, PvPers and PvMers alike. The story starts with a guy who goes by the name BZR. BZR used to play RuneScape normally, he was a pretty high skilled PKer. As a hobby project purely out of interest, he wanted to see if he could develop a robot that could consistently beat himself. BZR saw LMS as the perfect testing ground for such a bot. We've seen LMS bots before and they come in varying degrees of difficulty. Some are not that well programmed and players have found easy ways of tricking the bots and beating them. This guy didn't run a lot of LMS bots, only a few, but they were the ones that consistently beat players. I have an hour of footage showing the bot going 50 and 0 against players and there's more footage of it killing 250 players straight in LMS without dying. A perfect KD ratio. Often in these clips, the bot is left with a lot of food when it kills its opponent. Sometimes the bot barely even takes damage in the fights. Look at this clip. The bot DDS specs the human, does a fakie with an Aram staff while it sporadically clicks around the area, and then KOs the human back with another one tick DDS spec. The bottom line is BZR's bot is so insanely difficult to beat even by some of the best PKers. Oh, if I tank that one, I unfroze on the next hit. Created by the hell is that man? Yeah, this guy is a bot. <sighs> After the bot passed the LMS test, BZR took it to the duel arena to test it out in a new environment. What you're seeing is the first prototype of the PK bot outside of the fixed environment of LMS. Now he programmed in three modes of difficulty based on how skilled the opponent, the real player is. Easy, normal, and extreme. What you're seeing on the screen is just the bot in normal mode. The difference between these modes can start to give you an idea of how complicated this bot is. Depending on the mode, there'll be varying degrees of standing under the enemy when they're frozen, hugging an obstacle, random sporadic tile spamming to make it more difficult to even click on the bot, obviously your healing management system, switching speed, attack randomization, and prayer complexity. It's interesting that BZR programmed different levels, almost as though he was envisioning players of different skill levels practicing on the bot in the future to learn how to PK. Now obviously, all of this is a bannable offense in RuneScape, but that is an interesting concept for Jagex to consider. And the next step from here was to put it into a wilderness scenario against other human players to see how it performs. But first, it's story time. So the other day I was in a bar just kind of hanging out when this magic looking dude walks up to me and just kind of like waves his hands at me and a purple flash appears and then he disappears. And all of a sudden I had some rogue ear and nose hair. Which in and of itself isn't a bad thing but it's nice to stay groomed. And that's where Manscaped comes in. Because in fact Manscaped makes a product called the Weed Whacker. This is an electric trimmer but it's specifically for your nose and ears. If you look at the top of it it has a guard where your skin will never be able to touch the razor, but the hairs can still get through, so you can literally stick it up your nose or in your ears and you won't cut yourself. Now, of course, Manscaped also sent me the perfect package 4.0, which comes with the Lawnmower 4.0 wireless waterproof trimmer. Manscaped now also offers shampoo and body wash for men, cologne scented. It's definitely worth going to the site and taking a look at what they have to offer. So go to manscaped.com and use code HUGGER20 at checkout for 20% off. Thanks to to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. Now here is a clip that demonstrates the bot's capabilities. It can start anywhere in RuneScape, head over to Edgeville, gear up to go PKing, and then teleport into the deep wilderness to find a target. The bot could be programmed to wander the wilderness without any sort of pattern, but it's more efficient to actually check hotspots. So in this instance, the bot went to Black Chinchampas. You can see the current task in the upper left hand corner of the screen saying running to Black Chins, and then for just an instant it says is looking for a valid target before it finds the player collecting black and champas and TBs them. Now this isn't really a showcase of the bot's full potential, its ability to kill other PKers is risking a lot, but it's obviously incredibly effective against PVMers running away from it. There's no manual process of clicking entangle or freeze and manually clicking on the player running away. So maybe you splash three or four times, but you're probably going to catch the freeze and end up getting the kill. We can see here when the target's frozen, the bot DDs under the target and makes sure to use the weapon that doesn't match the target's overhead prayer. It's fascinating to me to watch a bot gear up, teleport into the wilderness, find a target, and eventually spec out and kill them. I feel like we're in the matrix. Now if you really wanted to test the bot's capabilities, you'd set it loose in the Revenant Caves where there are hundreds of PVMers and PKers. And that's exactly what BZR did. 
Let's start off with the bot killing PVMers, and then we'll move on to it killing PKers. From the clips I've seen, the bot actually often kills PVMers before they're even out of food. Since the bot basically always hits human opponents off prayer, it's doing a lot of DPS, and of course, it's really good at sneaking in a surprise special attack. Which leads to the PVMer targets getting KO'd quite a bit. Not to mention the bot has the switch from the AGS to Gmall combo. Well, it can do it perfectly. The other thing to consider is it's way more difficult to teleport from this bot since it's able to teleblock a target within a couple ticks of seeing it, faster than most humans can do. I feel like I'm looking at the apex predator of the RuneScape wilderness right now. Make sure to like the video. If the video hits 5,000 likes, I'll try to do a part two. Now let's get into when the bot encountered PKers. I've freeze framed this clip right now just because it's a little bit confusing where the clip starts. As you can see by the chat log and the bot's inventory, it looks like its opponent was fighting a different player but the bot locked onto it and has been spam clicking the opponent and the bot hasn't consumed any food in its inventory. Now this opponent is in pretty decent gear. Serp helm, dragon boots, dragon crossbow, and immediately the bot catches the freeze, DD's under the human PKer, and is hitting them off prayer every single time. Almost immediately, the PKer catches on and says AHKer reported. That's one thing to keep in mind. Any decent PKer would at least know this account is cheating in some way. But anyway, the bot DD's once again and specs with the AGS to Gmall, finishing off the PKer without one taking any damage and two in less than 30 total seconds. Now here's the second time we have footage of the bot running into a PKer. As you can see, the bot gets the teleblock off incredibly quickly before the PKer even has their prayer up. Both fighters freeze each other pretty early on, but after they're unfrozen and before the bot can refreeze its opponent, the bot activates this sporadic movement, which is incredibly annoying to fight. It just makes it harder to even attack the bot. But the strategy is pretty simple if it does land a freeze, DD under the human, and switch attack styles to to not match the opponent's prayer. Now while they fight, let's actually go over the overlay in the upper left hand corner of the screen. It's helpful to show just a few of the variables the bot's tracking. It's tracking the Ceridamon Brew and Super Restore counts in its inventory. It has a target risk calculator to see what the value of the gear of its opponent is. It has an enemy health indicator, a total damage dealt calculator that's probably good for determining how much food the opponent could possibly have left. Also these other variables like can teleport, is enemy TB'd, and can enemy move. Obviously those variables are super important in determining what action the bot's going to prioritize. So if can enemy move equals true, the bot's going to focus on freezing its target first. The human target is skulled and it looks like they're risking between 5 and 10 mil at least. And of course, even if the bot doesn't get a KO, it's extremely likely going to outlast its opponent. Which is what happens here. The bot kills its opponent and still has 5 Ceridomen brews left as well as 2 anglerfish. Which means throughout the entire fight, the bot only consumed two Ceridomen brews. In total, the bot healed about 150 hit points and we can see the damage dealt was about 800 to its opponent. So the bot was able to do over five times the amount of damage its opponent was. So what's next for this bot? Well, nothing right now. BZR said the motivation was never money, but that he's fascinated by the idea of a fully autonomous robot beating humans. And he doesn't really have any reason to progress the bot further than it is now. It's already looking pretty good. And of course, I think all of these bots should be banned, and this is not good for RuneScape. But I have to admit, it is fascinating to see a fully autonomous robot beating really good human PKers. I actually think Bodhi sums it up well. It's definitely a bot though, because this guy's freaking ridiculously good. But this is like, it's actually so inspiring in my opinion to fight these knowing that you could actually do some of this stuff minus the spec thing as a human if you actually got that good and it'd be so sick to pk that way so it was a bot but that's the thing like if you look at it imagine how it's so motivating to fight a bot like that because imagine you actually got that good as a human it's just interesting to see what's even possible and this bot definitely pushes that to the limit and if this footage actually worries anyone who's like, oh, I'm never going in the wilderness again, you're very likely not gonna run into one of these bots. In fact, it wouldn't even make fiscal sense to run a few of these bots. These PKing accounts have to be very high level. They're often in a lot of risk and they're pretty easy to spot. I mean, you know when you're fighting a Terminator. So with a little bit of policing from the anti-cheating team, these bots are probably pretty easy to detect and ban if they were mass created. A much larger problem right now is all of the AHK going on in the PK. 
PvP community. You're also just not going to see them because BZR has no plans to expand the operation. He even told me he believes he himself should be banned. It's a hobby project to push the limits of what's possible. Now I don't have any more footage of the bot fighting other PKers. What BZR told me is it was actually hard to get good footage of the bot fighting PKers because they often realized something was fishy about the bot even just in the way it switches its prayers too accurately. And they would quickly stop fighting and just run away. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a part two.